Okay, this is the rebatch of the salt bars because I messed them up and either didn't cut them when I should have or something, but they were crumbly and just didn't work out because I tried to do it in the pot swirl. And well, that just didn't work out so well. So, uh, asking the girls what I should do, and I tried rebatching them, and it just, they, I left it sit overnight because it was nighttime. So, the next thing was to just make a whole new batch of soap and throw my old soap in as uh, the salt. So, this is the start of that. I've got the coconut oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, olive oil, and my lye. And I'm using uh, aloe vera juice instead of water, which I do for most every soap I make. see the change in the oil this is going to take a while so I am going to oh maybe not hold that thought guys I have to tip my crock pot because it's not very deep not like my lard soap for those of you who were on board for that one this is getting pretty thick pretty fast let's see Seems how I stuck my hand in front of the camera and y'all couldn't see anyway. So, my daughter says I have a 1 900 voice. Isn't she cute? <laughs> this break and I'm gonna bring you over and show you my my soap this is my poor soap um, there's like um, two pounds of salt just about I doubled the recipe um, so this is what I have and that's gonna go in the soap so I'm gonna go ahead and keep stick blending and I'll bring you back when it's um, making a little change okay here we are again and I hope you can see that we do have trace you can see that it sits there uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little bit more get a little bit thicker like pudding and then we'll be ready to cover <laughs> So when I hit a more shallow spot here, it splashes a little out. So um, this is a nice trace. It's about a thin pudding. I'm going to give it a little bit more, just a couple more pulses. <laughs> Alright, 
there we go. And I'm going to call that ready to cover and cook. And hopefully you guys can see really well because it is not nighttime soaping for me today. Surprise, surprise. I'm a night owl. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes I don't sleep at night. So if I don't sleep, I'm usually soaping. So I always clean my stick blender out good. And those of you who've been on the Facebook page know that I'm crazy when it comes to getting every last drop because, you know, waste not, want not. So I will clean this all out good and then I take it to my kitchen and get a cup and put hot water in it and blend a couple times and that'd be the end of that for that one. So I think that about gets it. I haven't got to edit the whole video, but I found I have Movie Maker on my computer. Wahoo! So I will be able to, and I have started the process of editing. So the awesome part is for that is that I will be able to put up some decent videos, and I won't have to use YouTube's editor to do that. Uh, I was going to attempt it and had attempted it, but my videos would upload and get to 95%, and that would be the end of that. Or it would say that it couldn't upload because it was the wrong format and it was the same format as the one that had uploaded to 95%. So, we're going to let this cook. Uh, I do have it on high at this point. So, I'm going to turn that down to low and I will bring you back when I um, see some... Uh, folding over on itself and I'll let you guys see what that looks like. See you in a bit. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Lid a little bit right here. I'm just gonna stir it because, you know, I can't. Oh, it's separated. Awesome. This happens sometimes. Not a big deal. Some people freak out when they see this, but it's not a big deal, I promise. You stir it and see how it all goes back together. You can stick blend it if it's too separated and it doesn't go back together. So don't panic if you guys see that. Easy fix. Nothing wrong. Normal happenings. And I think it depends on what oils you're using as to how much it separates. I actually have never had anything separate that much before. Uh, I think it is probably because of the high uh, coconut content. Coconut oil content. So, it had been about 15 minutes, by the way, or so. So, we'll cover it back up and come back. Okay, so fold it in on itself. Not quite Vaseline yet. Getting there. <laughs> so I'm going to give it about five more minutes and come back. Okay, we have Vaseline see it around the edges the best and you draw the spatula through it and I do not want to cook it any longer than this and you don't have to cook it any longer than this it's done and it's actually been done a few minutes but I wanted to see if it got any more of the Vaseline look for you guys to see I think that's about it so now I'm gonna start adding in my messed up salt soap and I almost think that I should have 
tripled the batch or quadrupled or something because I think that there's too much soap here to go in. But we'll see. hoping it will melt the soap. I know it's not going to give me a lot of time to work, so... It is going to take it all. My purple is alkanut root. I added just a little bit in to get a little color because I wanted color. There's all of it. The crock pot's still on, it's on low. whether or not I would have to add in more liquid. I was told no, but guess what? I'm going to add more liquid. kind of got me in trouble the last time. Maybe it was a little too much liquid. But let's hope that this is not. I think it just needs it because it is too thick to even try to mold. I know it's not going to stick in the mold at this point. Let's see what we can do. Alright, I'm not going to bore you guys with the stirring of the soap. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up and I'll be back. Okay guys, sorry that it took me so long, but I had a mess that I had to deal with here because I had to add uh, a lot of liquid to my soap, and as you are going to see, it is very crumbly again. I've added uh, alkanut root for colorant just for fun because the color was starting to look pretty drab. This started out as yellow, it is no more. So I'm going to mash this into the mold. And hope for the best. Aha! It's hot and it's not liquidy. 
but it's definitely very soft, softer than Play-Doh, um, and I'm hoping, like crazy, that this molds out okay. Now, it was pretty fluidy. Um, I don't know that it's going to stay that this way, if it's going to crumb up on me. If it's going to crumb up on me, I give up. This is like third rebatch of this soap and it's craziness. So, I'm a little, a little upset about this. Of course, nobody's perfect, right guys? Thanks. <laughs> Please agree, just agree. I'm, I'm feeling like really poo-poo about this one. Um, like I said, hopefully, because it's very moist, uh, the oils did start to separate out of it a bit. But I'm hoping that that, you know, just letting it sit. I can't remember who in the group also had the problem with that. Uh, I'm not sure how you fared with yours. Hopefully, well. Hopefully, I will as well. Well, well, well. Aren't I swell with my wells? <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm a little crazy. You'll find that out. If you haven't figured it out from my post yet, you'll hear me talking. You'll definitely figure that out. So, i got to hurry up because I actually have a meeting, and I have my father on standby. He's on the computer. We're doing family, family genealogy stuff. And so I've been having my hands in all kinds of pots today. Busy, busy, busy. Really, really hoping that this works out. Um, I added quite a bit of liquid to it because it was very, very dry. Like, drier than this. And I say that because, literally, this was dry. Um, now we're getting down to the bottom. There's soap balls. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see this? Um, the oil's kind of coming out of it, but it, it molds up okay. Like, it makes into a ball pretty well. I am really, really hoping that this pans out okay. Um, I'm squishing down pretty hard on it to hopefully get all of the layers that I've just put in there in. And I'm thinking you're supposed to mold this while it's still cool, or warm, I mean. Um, though I don't know that the rules are still going to be the same with this because of what happened and where it's at and how it's at. So, I guess we're going to see. See, here's another ball. Um, it's at the bottom. This is pretty warm. But... You know what, guys? I don't mind this. I don't mind. It's a lot of stuff going down the drain if I end up having to ditch this. It makes my skin feel great. I absolutely love it. Um, but I'm really hoping I don't have to ditch it because um, um, I'm hoping I don't have to ditch it because it's a lot. I mean, coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil. I mean, quite a bit of jojoba oil caught up in this. Almost a whole, like... Four ounces as you know that's not exactly cheap but again like I said I don't mind doing all of this uh, my kids are just walking in the door from school so I apologize if you hear any crazies or interruptions yeah so your grandfather's on the phone too, Tiana right there so um honey I'm also videotaping so okay well just keep it down to a minimum please all right, guys, this is it. This is all my soap that I have. Um, and this is what I tried doing the last time. I had a nice full... I'm going to push down real hard on that to make sure. And it's, of course, squishing it up out how I don't want it. But I'll push that back down because I want to just make sure that it's in all of the corners and that nothing is being really left behind. So... Or not left behind. Not filled in, I should say. Okay, see that? And I'm going to push this in. If you can see that. See, I think I'm going to end up with the same issue. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's awful crummy in the corners. And that was what happened last time. Um, I kind of... I think soap just went flying off the other end of the table because I'm missing it. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. See how that's crumbing up right there? Yeah. So I'm thinking that I have another bum batch going on here. I'm very bummed about this. 
seriously. But I, like I said, I don't mind this because if it helps somebody else to learn, you know, that, hey, we can do this and save it, or we tried it and it didn't work. But you see, I love the colors coming out in this. Um, the purple from the Alkanet root. I've not been able to establish pink with Alkanet. I'm actually surprised that I got purple because... Sorry about my dog. He's even outside, believe it or not, making all that racket. Anyway, um, I haven't yet achieved pink with it, but I've successfully done purples. So, um, this is it, I guess, and we'll see what happens, guys. Wish me luck, and uh, when it comes time for the unmold and the cut, which I'm hoping I can do while it's still semi-warm and it doesn't fall apart on me, but I'm not feeling like I'm really going to get it was a beautiful bar I will show you um, let me just go grab it quickly so I can show you what it looked like and I ditched these bars and chopped them all up and made this and I'm kicking myself because I really think that they would have been fine hold on Sorry about that. Okay, here's from the last rebatch. See what that looks like? Kind of yucky. But I ran it underwater and soaped it up really good in my hands. And it does firm them up nice. I mean, like, the other ones, when I pushed on them in the middle, they broke apart. So I don't know if maybe doing it in the water kind of sets them a bit. So we'll see. This beauty is what I had the first time around. And because it broke across the top, see that? I thought, well, nobody's going to want that. But you know what? Smells great, looks great. See that nice strip of yellow and the white in here? It was beautiful. We'll have to see, guys. So I'll be back at you shortly. Here are the salt bars. And they stayed pretty crumbly, so I ended up cooking it down. Whoops, cooking it down last night or yesterday and then molding it. And uh, I used some alkanut uh, root powder to give the color. See how it's, they broke. And it's, I think, just a wrap with these poor bars. I'm so upset. So, um, now I had before made these. And when I wash them, like, you know, just like you use bar soap, uh, that's how I get my bars all shiny. It actually made a harder bar. The ones that I did first that I scrapped, that I could kick myself for scrapping because I think would have been okay. I wouldn't have had as many, but it would have been okay. So these, however, have not hardened. I'm going to wait and see if they harden up over the next few days. Maybe we'll be okay. But these are going to definitely be giveaway, home use. No way can I sell these because they look hideous. And, um... Bear with me a minute, and I'll show you what the rust of the bars that did not survive look like. And here is the non-surviving salt bars. Um, that is all crumbled up. Yep, crumbled. Um, this is the first bar. I actually had cut it in half. And across the top it had broken. But this still looks like a very rustic bar of soap. It would have been great. But no, I can't leave all on the phone. And here is the first rebadge. And it's pretty firm. I'm not going to push super hard because I don't want it to crumble. But, so I don't know. Anyway, there's the update.